Every 40 seconds, someone in the United States has a stroke. My name is Jessica Jarvis, Stroke Response Nurse at Cone Health. I'm here today to tell you about the signs and symptoms of stroke and how to prevent them. The number one risk factor for stroke is hypertension or high blood pressure, and it's preventable by eating a healthy diet, exercise, and taking the medications that are prescribed by your physician. Um, some of the other risk factors are managing um, your diabetes, your high cholesterol, and um, stopping smoking if you're a smoker. And those are all also preventable with healthy diet, uh, exercise, and healthy lifestyle. Heredity is a risk factor, so if someone in your immediate family has had a stroke, you're at risk for stroke. Um, also, you're at risk if you're African American, and also more women have strokes than men. FAST is a good acronym to help you remember the signs and symptoms of stroke. F is for face. You can ask the person to smile and see if their face droops. A is for arm. Have the person lift both of their arms to see if one arm drifts. S is for speech. When the person talks, you can see if their speech sounds slurred or strange. And T is for time. Uh, time to activate 911 to get the person help as soon as possible. And EMS is the best way to do that. Treatment doesn't normally start with EMS, but they start gathering information that's important um, for us when they get the patient here to the hospital, as well as they are often able to notify us prior to the patient arriving to the hospital that they think the patient's having a stroke. We have a team called the Stroke Team that gets notified, and that uh, includes myself and a neurologist and um, the ED team, and so we're able to get that patient um, treatment very quickly because um, we have a team that's focused on stroke. You should never take the person to the hospital yourself because it delays treatment. We see many people aren't able to um, have the treatments that we're able to provide because their family um, delayed in getting the person to the hospital. If you're ever concerned that a patient might be having a stroke, it's better to call 911 and get the patient to the hospital um, than to wait around and see if the symptoms get better because usually they don't. It's important to act quickly when you think a person is having a stroke because most of our treatments are time sensitive. One medication that we use can only be given within a short amount of time and many of our other treatments and surgical options are more effective if they're done quicker. I think the most important thing is for our community to know that stroke is a medical emergency. Uh, we like to call it a brain attack, so it's important for patients to get care as soon as possible and to call 911 so that they can get treatment as soon as they can. Thank you for joining me today. For more information about stroke prevention and treatment, go to colonhealth.com stroke. And just remember, for any signs and symptoms of stroke, act fast and call 911.